Sea cucumbers are echinoderms from the class Lotharoidea. They are marine animals and closely related to starfish and sea urchins. There are over 1,700 known species of sea cucumbers in the world's oceans. With an elongated cucumber-like body, sea cucumbers are typically 10 to 30 centimeters in length. Sea cucumbers live on or near the ocean floor. They feed on tiny particles of algae, detritus, or decaying matter that drift to the seafloor. Because of their feeding habits, they help distribute and recycle ocean nutrients. They gather food using their sticky tentacles, known as modified tube feet, and then lick the plankton one by one with a centrally located mouth. Most sea cucumbers also have tube feet that they use for locomotion. When disturbed, sea cucumbers will shorten and harden their bodies. Some sea cucumbers will discharge sticky goop called cuvierian tubules to ensnare their enemies when threatened. The tubes can grow back in a week or two. 
others can expel poisonous chemicals to drive predators away. Sea cucumbers breathe through their nusses. Rather than using lungs, sea cucumbers take in oxygen by flushing water over organs called respiratory trees. The oxygen is pumped in through the back door by the muscles of the cloaca. As the sea cucumber pumps water in and out to breathe, a small skinny parasite fish called pearlfish will enter the anus, making sea cucumber buds their home. Sea cucumbers exhibit sexual and asexual reproduction. Unlike most terrestrial animals, sea cucumber eggs undergo external fertilization, whereby females release their eggs into the water. A foul vein. Helium is the second element in the periodic table, and the first and lightest of the noble gases. Helium also has the lowest melting point of all elements, 0.95 kelvins, barely above absolute zero. Yet, helium cannot take solid form. Helium cannot freeze. So why can't helium, unlike all other chemicals, freeze? This has to do with the quantum mechanical concept known as zero-point energy. Zero-point energy is the lowest possible energy that a quantum system may have. Let's take a helium atom. This right helium atom contains two electrons, two protons and two neutrons. According to the quantum uncertainty principle, Some